Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. Leave me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace June's Path. So, yeah, all that further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? I got work in a little bit, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> you know, you two could definitely form a comedy duo. Kobayashi kun could be the straight man, and Mizuguchi san could be the funny girl. A comedy duo or a double act is a traditional form of humor in which a duo has completely different personalities, where the straight man is usually serious and down-to-earth, and the funny man is ridiculous and a tad crazy. The same could also be said of the following pairings. Me and you, you and Saya, Yuichi and Junkun, and me and Yuichi. Hey, I disagree with that. I am clearly the straight man in our pairing. Who are you trying to fool here? You are barely qualified to be the straight man in your pairing with Kobayashi-kun. Hey, rude! The only thing worse than a fool is a fool in denial. Hey! Guys, please don't start arguing. I have to leave to go backstage in two minutes, and I'd be very and I'd very much prefer if you don't didn't kill each other while I was gone. Kikin and Shuichi fist bump, smiling smugly at me. I stare at them, exasperated. When does your performance start again? Twelve thirty, but I still need to go backstage to prepare. All participants are supposed to wait back there for their performances. Uh, sounds like waiting for your performance to come up will be boring. And no offense, Misaguchi san but why did you come why did you come if you dislike classical music that much? To cheer you on, of course. I was actually gonna bring a bunch of bandanas and a cheering flag I had made at home, but Kaken said I wasn't allowed to. She pouts. I already told you. This is a classical music. Making any sort of noise during the performances is in bad form. You might distract the competitors. Boo, that's boring. If you don't want to watch it, then just go home. No, then I won't be able to watch June can perform. And stop whining. You don't have to say it like that. Mizuguchi-san, you already knew this was going to be a classical music performance. You knew other people would be performing, and you knew you didn't like this sort of music. So why did you choose to only complain now? Why even show up at all? Because I have to encourage Kobayashi-kun, of course. Keiken looked over to June and snapped his fingers, calling his attention. Hey, Kobayashi. Hey, what? Yeah? How do you feel about somebody coming to watch who, coming to watch who hates the music and is only here because they think they have to? What, what? Well... June glances over at Saya, sheepishly rubbing his cheek. I want people to appreciate my music, so it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable if someone is coming over against their will. Gah! But I'm really happy to have you all here. I'm really touched that you'd come all this way just to see me perform, even more so knowing that you didn't really like classical music. So you are you happy about it or not? Which one is it? Yeah, you're 100% contradicting yourself. Uh, um... I might have gone a little too far. Sorry. I was only trying to make the point that complaining about being here in front of Kobayashi would only make him feel bad. Sorry for putting you on the spot, Kobayashi. As if on cue, Saya bows down. Sorry if I've been complaining too much. What? Well, no, it's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. Honestly, I'm just happy you all cared enough to come see me. Of course we'd show up. You're one of us now. Saya gives him a thumbs up, smiling widely. Yes, you're one of us now. My condolences. Honestly, I wouldn't lose this for anything. Just go kick some ass, okay? Chuichi gives him a, a few light taps on the back. After all the, after they all say their piece, all four of them turn over to me, looking at me with expectation. What? Come on, Yuichi. Give him some words of encouragement. Oh, uh, well... It's okay, Yuichi-san. You don't need to say anything. A beeping noise echoes throughout the lobby sound system. Competitors in the 12th Sakura University Piano Competition, please move backstage for preparations. I have to go. Already? Can't you stay a little longer? No, it's easier for the organizers if we're all if we're all already backstage. Plus, I need to change and I need some time to focus, so... No! Good luck, Kobayashi-kun! June nods, turning around to join the mass of people who started going towards the backstage. June! I don't know why, but I suddenly have an urge to speak up. I called out to him after he took a few steps away from us. June turned around, looking at me with curiosity. I believe in you! June looked dazed for a second, as if he didn't quite grasp my words. Thank you. This time he ran away quickly. He ran away, quickly joining the others and disappearing from our sights. Well, I guess we already know who his favorite is. Huh? Why was he so much happier when you encouraged him? You didn't even say five words. What? When did the two of you get so close that you'd be able to lift his spirits that much? Even you? Ah, whatever, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Shouting out, ah, I don't care anymore, is the, isn't the sort of thing a person does when they, quote-unquote, don't care. Shut up! Yes, ma'am. Um, I've known her for 12 years, and I still have no clue how her mind operates. 
And you'll know her for 70 more years and still won't understand it. Just roll with it. Chuichi puts a hand on my shoulder. Well, as much as I dread the idea, I have to go freshen up a bit. Can't exactly sit down to watch the performances smelling like a musky husky. They'll be opening the sitting area now, so I'm gonna go get us some seats. The girl gets up from the piano, bowing to the crowd and walking out of the stage. She gets a very lukewarm reception with only a few claps here and there. Weak. Kaken has criticized every single performance that has been put out so far. I know classical tends to be boring, but I can barely stay awake right now. Hey, Rushihara. Have they all been that bad? You haven't had a single good thing to say about their performances. Not bad, per se, but not good either. None of them stands out. Hey, Yuichi-san, you're the only one who's seen Kobayashi perform. Do you think he's better than them? Well... Other performances has made me feel the same way as June's did. When I saw him play, it felt like the music was calling to me, tugging at my heartstrings. I felt like I needed to get closer, to feel all the keys pounding with my whole body. But these kids, I don't feel anything. No rush, no excitement, nothing. I don't really know how much about music, <clears throat> much about music, but I know that they don't really do anything for me. I think June is much better. Hmm. And now the next performer will be Shinji Akutagawa performing Franz Liszt's Grand Fantasy de Bravure sur le Clocher. Sure, I am butchering the pronunciation of that. The crowd starts. The crowd starts clapping as a lion walks into the stage, donning, donning a black suit, waving at the audience with a confident smile on his face. That's him. How do you think his performance will go? I don't know. I hope for Kobayashi's sake that he's not good. The lion sits down in front of the piano. The audience goes dead silent almost by instinct. Suddenly I feel very on edge. The few seconds of silence before he begins his performance start to fill me with a sense of dread. What if he's good? What then? I feel like my heart is going to explode. If I'm like this, how must June be feeling right about now? Hope he's okay. He starts performing and I instinctively hold my breath. The keys echo softly, slowly beginning to weave a slow melody. This doesn't seem as amazing as Kaken mentioned. I start feeling angry at him and June for making me feel so on edge, on edge for nothing. This is what you're afraid of? This is no- No. He's good. This song sounds so... easy. Grand Fantasy starts off really slow. It suddenly speeds up at about three minutes. That will make or break his performance. If he can do that part correctly, then... Here it comes! Huh? He suddenly speeds up his performance so much that I can barely recognize it as the same song. He's not just fast. He's oppressively fast. I feel as if I'm suddenly being pounded into submission. <laughs> I instinctively hold on to hold my breath. My heart rate increases exponentially. I feel like the sheer magnitude of his performance forbids me from uttering a single word. There's so much I want to say, but my body is frozen in place and refuses to listen. The words are caught in my throat, unable to be let out. If it's like this, if he's this good... Shit, please don't let June be watching this performance. Please, God, don't let him watch this. If he does, I'm pretty sure his spirit will break. He finally stops his performance. It feels as if the enormous weight that was pressing down on the audience is suddenly lifted as everyone breathes a collective sigh of relief. Akuta Gawakun gets up from his seat, panting heavily. His legs wobble a bit, but he makes his way to the front of the stage, bowing down to the audience. The crowd immediately erupts in cheers, giving Akuta Gawakun a standing ovation. The sound is so loud that it almost, sh that it shakes, almost shakes the entire concert hall. His was without a doubt the best performance so far, and you can tell that from how the crowd reacts. After bowing down to the crowd, he walks out of the stage as there is another beep followed by the announcer's voice. There will now be a 15-minute interval. The audience members are advised to not be away from their seats for more than 10 minutes as they might miss some of the ensuing performance. Shh. A crap. <laughs> a little too early to be doing that. Kagan was the first to break the deathly silence that had fallen on us. When's Kobayashi-kun's performance? I swallow hard, trying to steady myself. He's next. Double shit. Yeah. Having to follow up on a performance like that, I don't think he'd be able to. If he watched this... Something in my heart tells me that he watched that performance, and I know he wouldn't be able to go out on stage after that. Save my seat for me. What? I get up from my seat and run out of the hall. I run to the backstage for entrance. When I try walking through the door, a ram dressed in a uniform stops me. Excuse me, sir. Only competitors are allowed backstage. I need to see my friend. I'm sorry, but like I said, only competitors are... Like I care. I push him to the side, nearly knocking him against the corridor wall and run past him. Wait, stop! It isn't hard at all for me to bolt past him. As soon as I'm in, I started looking for June. Where could he be? Ah! I stop dead in my tracks as I see a familiar figure wearing a white suit sitting down on the floor, his face buried in his knees, and his entire body shaking as very quiet sobs come out of him. June? I timidly reach out to, to reach out to him, putting a hand on his shoulder. He looks up at me, tears streaming down his face. Uh, iwichi san It takes him a while to recognize me. As soon as he does, he wipes his tears away with the cuff of his suit. 
What are you doing here? I... Hey! The employee I knocked aside when I barged my way into the backstage comes up to us, looking furious. You, kid! Come back here! Shit. He grabs my arm and starts to pull me away from June. No, wait! I, I need to stay here! I don't give a flying rat's ass! I'm kicking you out of... Wait! June calls out to the man holding me. He stops and looks back. I'm a competitor. Aren't I allowed by the rules to have someone with me for support? June gets up from the floor, staring down the employee, which is quite a feat considering the man is taller than even me. What? That's usually reserved for family, and you have to declare them beforehand. I understand, but my parents couldn't attend today due to personal reasons, so I asked my friends to come with me. I'm sorry, could you please let him stay? What? This kid nearly threw me against the wall while trying to bust his way in. You're asking me to let that slide? I'm deeply sorry. June bows, his, June bows, his face going so low that I'm afraid he'll just keep going and will hit the floor. Wait, June, you don't have to apologize for my... I'm so sorry, he was just worried about me. He didn't know what he was doing. I'll take full responsibility for his actions. June! The ram looks from me towards June, who is still bowing. His expression seems to have softened a bit, but he still looks very angry. I'll get on my knees and beg if you want me to. What? No, June, that's going too far. I should be the one apologizing. There's no need. Huh? The ram lets go of my hand, his eyes fixed on June. Lift your head, kid. If it's that important to you, I'll let your friend stay. I won't report this, otherwise you could end up being penalized due to him. June straightens himself back up, smiling at the employee. Thank you, sir! He nods. Don't mention it. And you. He turns to look at me, and that sharp, angry look flashes again in his eyes. Behave! And thank your lucky stars no one else was here to see this, or you could have, or you could have hurt your friend's chances. He turns around and walks away, turning at the corridor, disappearing from our sight. Ah! June lets out a sigh of relief as he leans back against the wall and slumps back down to the ground. June, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to... I know. What are you doing here, Yuichi-san? I, I came to check up on you. I was worried. Not so. He hugs his knees, resting his chin on them and looking straight ahead. The Kudugawa-kun was something else. After I saw his performance, I, I just felt like it was impossible for me to beat him. So it's like I thought. He really did watch that performance, and it really did crush his spirit. I sit down next to June, as close as I can without actually touching him. He seems to hold his breath for a second, unsure of what I'm doing. Then, he relaxes. I'm sorry to have worried you. It's okay. It's what friends are for. What about now? How do you feel? I... His body starts shaking again. I shouldn't have come here. This was a mistake. I should have just stayed out of the competitions. I shift my body and kneel next to him, reaching out my hand to touch his face. June freezes, looking at me like a deer in the headlights. I wipe away the tears that are beginning with my right hand, caressing his cheek as I do so. It's not true, June. You've been practicing day and night for this. You're more than ready. No, I can't play. His voice sounded so distant and lonely. There has to be a way for me to console him. Maybe... Yes. Before I even have time to properly think about it, I wrap my arms around June, pulling him close to me and placing his head on my chest. What are you... Yuichi-san! It's okay. I start stroking the back of his head, doing my best to sound warm and welcoming. Soon enough, the dam bursts. June clings tightly to my shirt and buries his head in my chest, sobbing. I hold him here for what feels like many minutes, waiting for him to calm down. Little by little, his sobs have become quieter and less numerous. When it seems that his sobbing has finally died down, I speak up. Why do you think you can't play? June pulls away from me, looking down at the floor. Once again, I wipe the tears from his face and smile at him. My hands, they feel cold. I realize that his hands are still shaking. I grab hold of one of his hands and give it a squeeze. You mean this hand? He pulls his hand away from me, looking down at the floor and nodding. There's, they feel so, so cold. I can barely even move them. I just... I don't know what to do. I can't play like this. His voice is so small and sad. I'm afraid he might start crying again at any second. He's so nervous that his hands and maybe feet are feeling cold. I remember I used to feel the same when I had just started playing competitively. June, give me your hand. Even when stressed, he diligently does what I ask of him. I grab his wrists and put both of his hands together, palm against palm. Then I wrap my hands around his. What? I gently pull his hands towards me and exhale on them. You witchy said, what are you doing? I look him in the eye, making sure to give him the gentlest, warmest smile I can. I'm warming your hands up so you can play. I know his hands aren't actually cold, but I'm just hoping I can somehow get him past whatever block he, whatever block has him like this. I've managed to defuse his last panic attack. I won't be giving up this one. Hey, Junkun, don't you think this is alright? I speak in a soft voice. My use of the honorific seems to have caught his attention. I caress the back of his hands with my thumbs, trying to seem as encouraging as I can. You've been working your hardest so far, wanting to show everyone your performance... A performance only you can make, isn't that true? A performance only I can make? I nod, slowly. I don't understand much about music myself, but shouldn't your music get your feelings across? 
Then why don't you, instead of worrying about getting a perfect, perfect performance, just try to show everyone how you feel? I love watching that first performance of yours. I know I've seen you perform once or twice after that, but that one really struck a chord with me. I felt as if your song was calling out to me. It was warm and gentle and passionate. I'm sure you weren't trying to show people how good your skills were. You were just happy to play and wanted to pour your feelings into the piano. So, why can't you do that again? If I did that, I wouldn't be able to win. I shake my head negative. I don't believe that for even just a second. No one in this hall has managed to touch me in the way you're playing, did June? I believe in you. No matter what you do, I'm sure you'll be doing your best. So isn't this all right? Can't you just play how you want to? I don't know how these things are... I don't know how these competitions are judged, but... Wouldn't it be better if you put out the best performance you can instead of just worrying about getting everything completely perfect? June stares at me. His fur is matted from his tears and his eyes are red. But he looks calm. I... I hold his hands a little bit tighter, trying to encourage him any way I can. June nods. I'll try. I'll try to put my feelings in my music. Hopefully... He doesn't finish his sentence, but I know I already know he can do it. As long as he can stay calm, there's no reason he shouldn't be able to. Uh, June Kobayashi? The worker from before peeks his head through the hallway, calling out June's name. June pulls away from me and immediately gets up. Y yes The interval is about to end. You have two minutes. Uh, all right. June nods, suddenly full of energy. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. It was super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.